Hey guys, so today is another random talk video and again we are going to be talking Celebrity Big Brother. So I just wanted to make a quick video to let you guys know how I'm feeling um, because I just finished watching the episode on Channel 5 literally two minutes after the episode ended and I'm making this video um, and that is because Farah Abraham has finally been evicted from the Big Brother house and uh, it's for real this time and I'm freaking out so I think that the last time I made a video talking about Celebrity Big Brother was uh, just before the fake double eviction thing um, which is when Jenna and Farah got fake evicted and then they went into that secret room to spy on everyone for a couple of days and um, that's kind of when the love for Jenna and Farah kind of grew. I've, lo I've always really liked them together but when they got fake evicted and they were in that room together for two days like I I just love them. I, I think they're really cool. I love their friendship. Um, they have a friendship that rivals James and Austin's, like literally the four people that I really like to watch in the house are James, Austin, Farah, and Jenna, and that's because to me they're the most interesting. Everyone else is kind of boring except for the occasional Chloe Jasmine slash Stevie thing, which by the way I'll get to in a minute. Um, so yeah, like, I really loved Jenna and Farrah together. I saw them going all the way to the end together. I wasn't sure when Farrah was going to get evicted. I kind of had this gut instinct that Jenna was going to be there until the end. And I really do think that she will be there to the very, very end. Um, which is next week. Big Brother's ending, literally. I think it's the 24th of September, so it's ending in a week. And I'm not prepared for that at all. Like, I'm just... I don't want it to be over. I feel like I, I feel like there should be so much more. It's happened all so quickly. Um, but yeah, I guess that had to do with the double eviction on Tuesday and then this eviction tonight. And then there's going to be another double eviction on Tuesday, next Tuesday. So, I mean, a lot of things are happening recently. Okay, so I just kind of quickly wanted to talk about the double eviction that happened on Tuesday when Gail and Scoop left. And honestly, I wasn't sure he was going to go out of them. It was like... Uh, Gil, Scoop, Janice, and, um, Sherry, was it, I think? Um, and so I wasn't really sure, uh, out of them who was gonna leave, but, um, it kind of made sense for Gil to leave. I was kind of happy for Gil that she got evicted because, as you guys know, Gil was not having a good time in the house, and all she ever really did was clean, and I just felt like a lot of the housemates took advantage of her because she was the one that did all the cleaning, and I know she didn't mind doing the cleaning, and that was, like, a thing that she did in the house to keep herself occupied, but I don't know. I just kind of felt kind of bad for her. I was like, oh my god, all the housemates are taking advantage of her, and then when I found out, like, towards uh, the eviction day, she she was giving people massages and things. I was like, these housemates really do take advantage of Gail. So I guess I was really glad that she left because that means that she could finally get away from all the housemates uh, that were driving her crazy. Um, and she doesn't have to clean the house for like 10 other people. So uh, happy for her to be free. Um, I guess I was kind of upset whenever Scoop got evicted. I wasn't really expecting Scoop to go. I felt like he was really chill. He was really fine. Obviously, the reason he was evicted was because he was boring, which is kind of the way that it seems that the British public vote for people to be evicted. It's like, they're boring, so I'm not going to vote to see of them, which I guess makes sense. But at the same time, there are still some housemates in there that I don't think are particularly interesting. Like, tonight, whenever I found out that Natasha was voted to be saved. I was like, really? N Natasha? Out of all the people you could have voted to see if Natasha? I, would, I just wasn't feeling it. Um, so, you know, that kind of shocked me that Scoop was the one to leave. Um, but yeah, so without Scoop and without Gail, to be honest, hadn't really missed them. I guess it makes sense if they didn't leave because they didn't get enough screen time, but um, yeah, that was kind of something to deal with. Um, and then um, there was that whole big blow up between Austin and Chloe Jasmine about the alcohol thing. Now for me, I do not understand what the deal is with Chloe Jasmine's thing. I feel like it wasn't explained very well on the show. Uh, I don't know if it was in like the live feeds or anything, but like, it just seemed like Chloe Jasmine all of a sudden had a problem with alcohol and she couldn't be around it. Like, for the rest of the season, I have not seen her like be like, oh my god, I can't be near alcohol. It just seemed to sort of be 
whenever Austin pointed out that she wasn't at the toast for his brother, which I didn't even notice if she was there or not, if I'm honest. I just kind of thought everyone was there, but apparently Chloe wasn't. And um, that started a whole big thing. And then whenever they were celebrating Stevie and Sherry's birthday, Chloe Jasmine wasn't feeling all the alcohol around, so she left again. And um, I don't know how to feel about it. I just think it's kind of strange. Obviously, if she does have a serious problem, then I'm very sympathetic for her. I feel like it would be really hard to be in a house where they're drinking alcohol all the time and that she can't be around it. But at the same time, it's like she has been around it a lot because they tend to have alcohol in the house every single night for some reason. I thought that Big Brother used to be a lot more harsher when it came to like um, the, the food and things. Like I didn't know that they always got alcohol because it seems like every night they're supplying the house with alcohol. Um, which I don't remember them doing in Big Brother before but they seem to do it now. Um, and so yeah, I don't know how to feel about Chloe Jasmine's thing. All I know is, is that if she really feels that strongly about alcohol, I'm guessing that at Stevie and Chloe Jasmine's wedding, there won't be alcohol. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was kind of interesting. Also, can we talk about Sherry's birthday surprise thing from Austin and James? I, I didn't know how to feel about that. I thought it was kind of weird. It was kind of awkward. It was like, oh my god, how would you feel if you were like in the house at that time? kind of was just a little bit awkward. And then there was that thing about James and Austin being in bed together, like, um, in the last episode they showed us, like, uh, James and Austin, like, going back and forth with their banter or whatever, and sometimes it makes me feel like Austin forgets that he's married, um, because I just, I don't know, I feel like their friendship is, like, going into a different area that it shouldn't really be, and to be honest, if I was married to Austin, and I know Austin is gay, but if, you know, if you were married to someone who was on a reality TV show, sleeping in the same bed as his best friend, and, like, carrying on in the way that he was, I wouldn't be happy, so, you know, I can't imagine that Austin's husband is completely okay with everything that Austin and James are doing together, and I know that it's totally wrong for us to assume, like, um, Austin and James are going to do something bad, but I just feel like it's crossing a line at this point. Like, way back in the beginning, whenever everyone else was getting on James about being close with Austin, like, back then I thought, oh my god, you guys, that's not going to happen, they're not like that, but, you know, whenever they were, like, in the pool and everything, and they were naked and stuff, like, I was just thinking, like, okay, if I was Austin's husband, I would so not be happy with that, I would so not be cool with that, and, um, you know, things like that, so I don't know. Um, how I feel. I do still love James and Austin's friendship. I think I'll always love it, but at the same time, I just, I just think that Austin should remember he's married and be a little bit more respectful of that. And so, yeah. Um, also, side note, can we not, like, I don't really want to talk about this, but I feel like I, I just have to mention it, but what was... Stevie and Chloe Jasmine doing in the toilet on Stevie's birthday. Uh, I think we all kind of can guess, and I just, I mean, I mean, why was Stevie wearing his microphone when he was in there is all I'm gonna say, because I just, I just feel like we didn't need to hear that, or, or like, even, I, I just, I didn't need that in my life, and I know that Stevie and Chloe Jasmine have been a little OTT with the PDA sometimes and like they told themselves they weren't going to do that on TV but that was still disturbing and I really didn't need that in my life. Um, so yeah, okay. Um, now on to the actual evictions that happened or really one eviction because only one person went home. So basically uh, for this eviction, Emma went into the house and she saved four people because we were allowed to vote to save and the four people with the most votes got to stay and they were Austin, James, Natasha and Stevie and Chloe Jasmine and um, they then had to choose the four other people that they wanted to stay and then one person was going to leave and as soon as I heard this, I tweeted and I made my predictions, I was like, okay, Stevie and Chloe Jasmine are going to pick Janice and then Natasha is going to pick Sherry. I don't know who Austin or James would choose. Um, and then what surprised me is that actually James chose Janice first 
so obviously Stevie and Chloe Desmond couldn't pick Janice and so I was sitting there and I was like okay well obviously Natasha ended up picking Sherry to see if and I was like okay I knew that was gonna happen then GMs picked Janice which meant that Stevie and Chloe Jasmine were going to pick Bobby because Stevie and Bobby are like this and then I was like oh my god and then Austin's gonna pick Jenna and Farrah's gonna go home and I knew it was gonna happen as soon as it came down to that like as soon as GMs had chosen Janice I just saw it all happening I was like oh my god Farrah's gonna go home and it was just like <gasps> I was feeling emotional. I didn't want Farah to go. I really like Farah. And plus, ever since she came back from uh, the secret mission thing, when she was in that room with Jenna, like, she's been totally fine. And I guess uh, that led to her downfall, because then she became boring and wasn't picking fights with people. But, I don't know. I just kind of was sad. I didn't want Farah to leave. I mean, Team Jera, obviously. Um... It was just kind of sad, and then whenever Farah was having that interview thing with um, Emma, uh, Farah has this really weird way of talking in which she probably is making sense in some way, but the way that she forms sentences and the way that she talks sometimes is very confusing, and people don't really have any idea what she's actually saying, because in that interview you could tell that Emma had no idea what Farah was talking about for half of it, and so I'm really surprised that that interview went on for as long as it did, but um, yeah, you could definitely tell that Emma was confused. I was kind of confused too, but I was only half paying attention to what Farah was saying, so maybe that's why I was confused, but you know, it, it was definitely a very weird interview, and... I guess it's just Farrah in general. Sometimes she does just talk in a really confusing way, but somehow Jenna understands. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess that's kind of all I really wanted to say. Uh, now that we're down to like the last few housemates and things, I definitely feel like Jenna could win this thing. Like I, I've always said this about Jenna. Like I think she's really chill. I think she's really smart. I think she's playing it really well. I do think she could go all the way to the end. I don't really know if anyone else has the potential to win. Although something tells me that because this is Celebrity Big Brother in the UK, that a UK housemate will win. Uh, I just don't know which one. Uh, if I had to pick a UK housemate that I want to win, I kind of want Sherry to win. I don't know, I feel like she's really cool too, um, especially after like seeing her that list and stuff on her birthday and how everyone really likes her, like I really think that Sherry could win, or maybe Natasha, after people voted to see of her, I think maybe Natasha, but I honestly have no idea. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope that you guys liked this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments below who you want to win Celebrity Big Brother, because uh, we only have like a week left and um so we're gonna find out soon and i'll probably make a video about that then um but yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys jenna and farah's friendship they're literally like attached to the hip because uh, like if um james and austin are having a bromance uh jenna and farah have their own little friendship going on